Hello again everybody. If you just came from my highlighter review, welcome back. And if you just decide to click on this just for the hell of it, this review is about the Tarte Provocator Pressed Mineral Powder. So first thing I'm going to mention right now is I have combination skin and not the typical combination skin. My skin is normal and then it goes dry sometimes. So it's like a combination of both depending on the weather and all that good stuff. So right now I got me some normal skin. So I'm going to tell you a review on my end from the normal skin and from the dry skin point of view. So just keep that in mind. This product will maybe work different for you. I'm just telling you my experience with said powder. So first thing I noticed, the heck is up with this tiny mirror? You know, <laughs> I've had this for like three, four months now. I freaking have been using this and I've, I wanted to give a really good review on it. I know three months is kind of a while, but I've had it for a good while. And first of all, this mirror is tiny and it's like, I, I took it traveling to my, to, um, my relative's house down south and I could not see anything. It's like, look at this. You can barely see my face in that thing. Whoop. It's really tiny. I mean, you have to get like right up on it, you know, just to see anything. So it's like. Eh. Why include a mirror? I mean, you got all this space right here. The freaking powder takes up more than the mirror. But anyway, done ranting. The powder. That's what really matters, right? Not the compact. <sighs> Going zen now. Alright, so this powder is totally boss. This is like a really great powder. Um, as you can see, it matches me perfectly. What I love about Tarte is it's totally neutral. All of their makeup, their face makeup is neutral. So that's me. That's totally me. So it's really great because I cannot find neutral makeup anywhere. I, I'm, I'm kind of bordering on a more pink than I am more warm. So it's like, here's the middle, and I'm like, kind of, kind of, you know, just kind of going that way a little more, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's, it's hard to find foundation that matches perfectly, even in freaking high-end makeup. The only make, the, like, I'm confusing myself. The only foundation I found that matches me perfectly, if I can find it, is my NARS Sheer Glow. And I don't remember which my shade is. It's like Siberia, I think. I just don't know where it is. And now I'm sad because I can't find it. So, like, MAC NC colors are way too cool. This is my tinted moisturizer. Um, Agent 02, a.k.a. Facade. Matches great. And that's basically the only thing I've ever had to, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, so, I have these two things. These are color correctors from Coastal Sense, and I need them because I'm pale. Look at me. I'm like just a little bit darker than this. Well, maybe a lot darker, but you get the idea. Um, it This I need because all of my foundations are way too warm. So, I just add a little bit of this, and it just makes it completely neutral, which is something I need. But it's a pain to do, you know? And you can't do that with powder. So... I'm happy if you guys are neutral skin toned. If you're right there in the middle, you're not kind of doing their thing. You will love this. It matches perfectly. So, the coverage is pretty sheer. For someone who wants a lot of coverage, you won't get it with this. This is very, very sheer. For those of you <clears throat> who like to use their tinted moisturizer, these pair just beautifully. And this will give you the coverage that a tinted moisturizer would give you. And this will just boost it up 
by like maybe the next level and it'll turn the shear into a light. So that's good. Maybe bordering on a medium depending on your concealer. So that's really great. And it's it has so many uses to it as well. Um, I found that when I was a little bit darker in the summer, I could use this as a matte highlighter. So if you have one that's a little too light, you can use it for that. It doesn't accentuate any fine lines. It doesn't settle into pores. It just kind of stays there throughout the whole entire time. And I really appreciate that because, you know, it's $30. And um, it's hard to find products that don't really settle because I have that problem. I guess I have really huge pores and I always, always forget. <laughs> forget to prime my face getting a little excited here um, but this is really nice and it covers up redness pretty nicely I have redness like right here and right here and this is really good for that um, today I used my uh, magic smooth souffle by L'Oreal and this together and as you can see no redness and that's usually my problem I I have no acne scars thank you Lord <laughs> I I really am kind of blessed with nice skin and I am very grateful so all I really need is sheer coverage stuff anyway so other than that if you're looking for a heavy coverage mineral foundation this is not for you um, if you have dry skin, this will work because I know how it is when your skin is dry, you freaking put makeup on it and you look like crap and it's like, <gasps> what did I do wrong? <laughs> Cause I know I have used this, <gasps> my bad, something fell. Um, I've used this and it kind of settled like right here in that general area. That is my best the bane of my existence that stupid little freaking crease right there it gets so dry and it's very frustrating so naturally when I put some makeup on it I want it to cover it but it just flakes up and makes me look like a monster <laughs> it's very frustrating so this does not do that and that is freaking awesome to me because it's hard to find powders that work with a dry skin so if you want to try this out, it will be worth every penny if you have dry skin and you want to find something to set your makeup, add just a little bit more coverage, or just something to just pop on your face when you're having a good skin day, just to maybe control some oil, because it also works for oily skin too. Put it on my, uh, my, <laughs> my brother, he has bad, bad oily skin, and he was like, I look like crap, blah, 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 I was just like, there you go oh my god this is so much better so I think I'm gonna invest into a blotting powder for my brother because yeah you know he's a guy but guys need to control their oil so they don't look like they're glowing 24 7 um, so but other than that this is a really great powder and I highly recommend it I give it a 5 out of 5 10 out of 10 and much love to Tarte I love most of their products, so if you see me reviewing Tarte, you will most like me, most likely, be seeing me give it a lot of love. So, if you have any comments about the Tarte Provocator Powder, pressed mineral powder, just leave it in the comments, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you. Peace out, homies.